Kate to give birth in the same ward where William was born. I'm Taryn Brooks and this is The Duchess Diary. Joining me here to talk all things Kate is Celeb Buzz Editor-in-Chief and Royal Reporter, Kelly Lynch. Hello, Kelly. Hi, Taryn. Welcome. Thank you for being here with Thank us. Thank you for having me. I always <laughs> need, like talking about royals. I know. We need your royal expertise here. Um, so there's been a lot of baby news this week, and yep. the British press have been reporting that Kate is to give birth in the same ward where Diana gave birth to William, which is exciting. What do you know about this? Well, it's the St. Mary's Linda wing. Um, we were told uh, conflicting reports when Kate was pregnant that she might give birth in the hospital that she was born in out in Reading, England, uh, which is about 45 minutes away from the city. But uh, I'm glad that they're sticking with tradition and going with the St. Mary's Hospital. It's very touching, especially since Diana gave birth to William in that wing. And Diana, uh, William's one of the first royal babies to be born outside of the palace. Oh. Prince Charles was born inside Buckingham Palace. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. There you have it. Um, any baby name news? Can you tell us anything about that? Nothing is confirmed. Okay. Um, the, again, you're going to get a ton of royal reports conflicting. Uh, you know, oh, it's going to be a girl, it's going to be a boy. The word on the street is that the, not even Kate and William know uh, that what the baby is sex-wise, girl or boy. However, if it is a girl, my guess is, and this is not anyone's guess but mine, I think it's going to be either Ale Alexandra, Charlotte, or Victoria for a girl. For a boy, I'm tied between George and uh, Philip. Okay. Prediction, do you think it'll be a boy or a girl? I, I have a feeling it's going to be a girl. Okay. Cute. <laughs> uh, there has been a lot of debate this week also as to who the godparents might be. So who is your expert pick? Well, traditionally in British society, godparents, there are about ooh, at least three on each side. Oh, wow. So I know that William has six godparents, one of them being Prince Pablos of Greece. Um, so they will choose definitely Pippa and Harry, but they're going to choose a few of their friends uh, in addition. Maybe one of the Van Straubenzi boys or a Van Cutsum boy. You remember Grace, Hugh Van Cutsum's daughter, was in Kate's wedding. She was the one who cupped her ears when the flyover happened oh, on the yes. balcony. So it's in, it might be another royal from one of the families in Europe. Who knows who it could be? But I know that they have a ton of friends, so they're going to choose wisely from that circle. Okay, good to know. And finally, Kate's due date is getting closer and closer and closer. So how do you think that the royals are going to announce the birth? We're guessing it's not going to be via Twitter. It actually will be, but yeah. that is going to be the last stop. So okay. traditionally, they post on Buckingham Palace's gates. And it's really nice because it brings out the British pomp and pageantry that the country is known for. So what's going to happen is they're going to get a birth certificate They're signed by, excuse me, not a birth certificate per se, but a note signed by the doctors, weight, height, sex, and they're going to post it on Buckingham Palace gates, just like they did for William, just like they did for Charles. It's going to be very, very exciting. That's so cool. I love the fun tradition. Yeah, that the and they'll keep in they'll place. do Twitter, they'll do Facebook, but first and foremost are the proper formal ways to announce. I love it. There mm -hmm. you have it. Thank you so much, Kelly. You're welcome. Don't forget to tweet us at the Duchess Diary and share your favorite Kate moments of the week. We'll get together next week for a celebration of all things royal.